Hey guys, welcome or welcome if you're new. Thank you so much for being here and watching today's video. We have a lot coming up. I'll be cleaning, organizing, and also decorating in some areas of my house. I have a few new cleaning products that I'm trying out, so a little bit of everything. These are definitely one of my favorite videos to create and also watch, so I hope that you guys enjoy it too. If you do, please give this video a thumbs up and let's jump right in. I'm getting started today by cleaning out the washing machine. I've used these packets from Tide a few times now and have always liked the way they've worked. So it's really simple. You just turn your wash onto a hot setting, add in the packet, and then let that run all the way through. Next, I'm taking care of the living room tables and using a glass cleaner on those. And to give you a little preview of what's coming, we're going to be moving from downstairs to upstairs, even back again. So lots of cleaning in this video to keep you guys motivated while you tackle whatever it is you're working on. Let me know in the comments if you are cleaning with me today and what projects you have planned. And then there's also some new decor pieces that I will be incorporating around the house to freshen it up for summer. So I'm excited to share that with you guys too. The first new decor piece I'm adding in today is this olive branch tree. I have been looking for one for a really, really long time. It has taken me a while to find the right size and one that looks as real or like as natural as possible, but I finally found one. I will link everything I can down below. The cement planter is from Target. It's pretty massive, even though it doesn't look too big on camera, but I picked up the biggest size they had and a tip I learned a while back to save yourself from overspending on filler is to use whatever you have have lying around as the base. So for me, I had some styrofoam from a package and also some tissue paper that's meant for gift wrapping, but both worked out perfect for this. I just cut into smaller pieces and filled any space I could. That way I only needed a small layer of the rocks on top instead of filling the entire thing. We young, got time and we're wasted. Got no plans for the night. I love how you look at me, feeling like nothing to lose. Can we stay here tonight? Cause I don't wanna go. I know the tension's gone now, and that you won't stay here. Keep looking back, don't wanna forget you. I ended up using the full bag. It was about 20 pounds or so worth of rock, so much more realistic and cost effective to do it this way. I definitely recommend trying this out too if you aren't doing it already. We're swinging over to the fireplace and if you've been around, you may remember the basket that I had here. It was nothing special, so maybe you don't, just your traditional wicker basket. I wanted to replace it for this lighter one that I thought was so pretty from Target and I essentially use it for storage and storage only. I like to keep all of my cords, wires for the computer, microphone, things like that in here and just throw a blanket on top so they are hidden, but close by, I always lose them if they are not in this basket. So let's get those tucked away now. Don't 
So now I'm using this new Lysol spray. I just opened it. I bought it at my local grocery store. I have never seen it before, but if you have tried it, let me know how you like it in the comments. It reminds me a lot of the jaw sprays, the same concept with a reusable bottle. You fill it yourself with water and then add in the pod. This one is a multi-surface spray, but can also be a disinfectant, which I will use it for a little later on. But for now, I'm wiping down the outside of the fireplace quickly, and then we will move on from there. This way again So let's pick up the pieces that we left unsaid I know the tension's gone now And that you won't stay here Keep looking back, don't wanna forget ya Yeah, I wanna do it all again So I keep pushing me We're finally ready to tackle the rest of the living room, so I'm working my way around the couch, getting everything back in order. The living room is all clean. I fluffed pillows, straightened up, picked up, folded the blanket, and now I've moved into the dining room to grab whatever's out on the table, and then I'll wipe it down with the Method wood spray and the almond scent. I'm moving right along into the kitchen and I'm going to begin in here by picking up any of the random items or trash on the counters, clearing them off to be cleaned, and then from here we'll unload the dishwasher. Just follow every move. 
All right, so the dishes are almost done. I'll get the last remaining ones out of the sink to the dishwasher, just a couple more things to rinse off, and then I'll get to the sink. It needed a really good scrub today, so I'm combining two steps. The first go around will be with Barkeeper's Friend. I'll rinse that away and then repeat with Dawn dish soap. I'm spraying the same Lysol solution on the counters, fully saturating them. The back of the bottle says to let it sit for 10 minutes to truly disinfect before wiping it away. So that's what I'm doing. In the meantime, I spent the 10 minutes getting the downstairs vacuumed. It's always a habit to start in the living room and work my way backwards to the front of the house. And I try to pick things up as I go. That way I don't miss anything. So Mason's toy basket, the corners of the rugs, places like that. Just for two nights I want to believe So keep on somebody else who am i to judge i've been thinking about you all the time but that's all right i'm starting to get used to it i think i'll survive i met you in the summer when you left it was cold said we loved one another now I'm upstairs switching out the sheets, getting the old ones off the bed and started in the wash. In addition to the Priscilla laundry detergent, I'll be tossing in some of the Gain scent beads. They are the best for freshening anything up, especially sheets. And the only laundry we're actually going to be folding together is stuff that's in my drawers. I'm going to be reorganizing and decluttering my pajamas, but you know I was still turning over laundry throughout the day, keeping that going to stay on top of it. Even though I didn't show it every time just know it was happening so the drawers are coming up in a few minutes right after I finish a couple of things in the bedroom without you and I couldn't really make you stay so what to do I'm just staring at my walls and talking to myself now and then I'll try to laugh but I'll cry a bit as well I was never any good at being away from you I met you in the summer
You know it still hurts a little bit, but not that much Cause if you want somebody else, who am I to judge? I met you in the summer When you left it was cold Said we loved one another This was the point where I decided today was the day to get these drawers done and cleaned out. They were overstuffed. I couldn't fit any more in there. It had been way too long. But first, I'm picking up anything that's out and about on the surrounding dressers and floor. I grabbed whatever pajamas were in the dryer just to get a true idea of how many I actually had. Some of the sets are holiday or winter related, so those were pretty much folded and untouched. But as far as everything else, I knew I had to toss some of these things away to make room. I always gravitate towards a certain pair. I'm sure many of you are like that too, so others never get worn. I'm going through each item one by one deciding if I want to keep it or not, and then folding the shorts, pants, and like t-shirts in a much more organized way. So let's start on this top drawer and work our way to the next one. This was my donation pile and then here are the drawers after. It definitely felt so good to get rid of some things and just make room. So now that that is done, we are headed into the bathroom to work on the counters. I'm about to finish up with laundry, taking care of the clothes that were in the dryer, and flipping the sheets from the wash straight into it. But that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you are new, and I will see you in the next one. When I saw 
saw you on the dance floor. Oh, I saw you who saw me first. I guess it's history now and I shouldn't care, but it still hurts. I didn't realize the danger, cause you're the end of the rainbow. And the music was so loud, didn't catch your name over this crowd.